Today we are here to discuss some very interesting aspects which will help participants of the E-Yantra Innovation Challenge, which this year is trying to inspire you to solve problems framed by sustainability. Now, what is sustainability? Janet Yellen, who is the US Treasury Secretary, says that sustainability is the single greatest economic opportunity of the 21st century. So she's saying that addressing climate change and the problems that come out of it is a tremendous way to make money. And she feels that it, the amount of money you can make is worth $3 trillion a year until at least 2050. Whether we'll have a planet which is livable by that time is another issue with global warming, climate change, sea level rise and all these kind of things. But I'm trying to say this to kind of motivate young people and students to be the change that they wish to see. In the sense that just think of instead of just aspiring for a job and any job, that you can be a change maker and the world needs people like this who will solve these problems and nobody is going to come from outside and abroad and solve all the problems in India. And the challenge is that if you see yourself as someone who can solve these kind of uh, problems, you can be the seed of change, you can be the seed of entrepreneurship and innovation in this country and maybe take these kind of solutions to solve other problems in the world. What do you see as the most pressing sustainability challenges in the urban built space today? So I think uh, we have to first define what we mean by sustainability. And if we say that sustainability is an environmental problem, then uh, we have uh, a range of those at the level of uh, adaptation, at the level of uh, what we will have to suffer and cope with uh, when we, you know, when those problems land on us. And I think that is really, in many ways, the bigger uh, burden or challenge for us in the global south. Uh, these would range from, uh, you know, sea level rise in coastal cities to heat right. everywhere, you know, heat plus humidity, of course, in, in coastal cities. And um, if you were to look at also the social uh, aspect of sustainability, because I don't see them as distinct, they are actually very closely woven. Uh, you have increasing levels of inequality across the world, including in the West, and uh, you also have a increasing uh, kind of lack of being able to work together across different uh, divisions. And that means, therefore, that the kind of, uh, say, political and policy coherence and will you need to deal with the sustainability challenges that are also mounting is more and more difficult to, to muster together. So, uh, there are many, many specific challenges in, in each of these, but I think this uh, combination is something that I find quite uh, alarming, to, to say the least. Sustainability has many aspects and uh, many areas to be improved, uh, both from environmental and uh, environmental performance and bringing equity uh, in, the, in these sectors. I work in a uh, water management area, whether it is rural or urban. Uh, what I see the primary challenges that can be taken up is uh, first of all uh, monitoring uh, of uh, let's say water systems. Uh, if you see the amount of efforts that goes in for monitoring of water itself is huge and we do not have indigenous technologies, indigenous methods, protocols to uh, monitor uh, the water flows in the let's say open channels that the uh, irrigation department manages. Uh, if students can just uh, work on uh, measuring the water channel flow using your own uh, uh, developing level sensors and integrating with the flow measurement techniques, uh, that can be one of the starting problems. Uh, pipe flows, if you see any road uh, near your village or a city, uh, huge pipelines are going above ground and underground. And uh, what kind of flow measurements uh, you can do? Because if you see most of this flow measurement right now, uh, companies are coming from other countries and we do not have not that many companies, there are some good examples, but it's an emerging area and it's an it's a infinite market. Every rural area, every uh, village and city do, will, de will need this uh, kind of flow meters and uh, uh, devices for water monitoring. The second aspect of is water quality monitoring. Once you measure the flow, the second is how we can measure the water quality because the kind of water we are giving to our villagers or city dwellers, uh, we need to monitor the quality also. So sensor development for water quality measurement for the parameters, very simple parameters such as turbidity, uh, conductivity, pH, uh, this, this kind of simple parameters, sensors if uh, you can develop through these projects, that will be really helpful. 
uh, and also sampling, how to collect samples in a difficult areas because for monitoring the pollution, uh, whether it is air, water, you have to go and collect samples from deep, mid, mid, mid of the river, mid of the coastal area. So you can develop some drone based mechanisms to go and collect the samples from, uh, that can be another area altogether and uh, there are already some startups who are offering these services to the pollution control boards or uh, monitoring uh, agencies. So, a uh, huge amount of uh, scope is there in terms of water management. Uh, if you just, this one from monitoring and uh, measurement side. Similarly, there are treatment aspects uh, where you can monitor the treatment processes. You need a different kind of automation for uh, improving the treatment mechanisms. You, ha you can have a, a, a level sensor, pressure sensor, uh, uh, the oxygen level sensor which will integrate with the uh, pumps and motors and my, uh, optimize their energy consumption. So huge amount of you know uh, innovation is possible is required for operating our water treatment plants and uh, sewage treatment plants. And in your locality, you will definitely find one or two sewage treatment plant or uh, water treatment plant. Try with them, understand the problem from them, and uh, get inspiration. What actually needs to be done at that level?